What's going on? Welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to be here with you. It's been a few weeks since I've made a video, but that doesn't mean that the hustle has ended. It's actually amped up and I have tapped into the secret of getting your buy costs down low. So at the end of this video, after I show you all the shoes that I got for 90 cents per pair, I'm going to share with you how do you do it because I'm all about empowering you to make money doing what you love. And if you love reselling items, flipping them, um, and making a profit and providing for your family in that way, then this is the content for you. But I want to go over all the shoes that I got. Um, so the other day I ended up, I spent $46 and ended up getting 51 pairs of shoes. And these aren't trash shoes. All of these shoes are name brand shoes that sell really well. They have a good sell through rate. So I'm going to start, I'm going to go through all the shoes that I got, or at least a majority of them. We'd be here forever if I went through all of them, but I'm going to go through a majority of the ones that I got shoe by shoe, and I'm going to show you which pairs I got. So if you're, if you're ready for this, then like, subscribe, um, comment, if you have any questions so that I can get back with you and tell you how to get shoes for 90 cents per pair. Let's go ahead and jump right in. The first pair is one of my favorite pairs and it's Birkenstocks. Name brand Birkenstocks. 90 cents. You guys are probably just jumping thinking, how did he get that? Look at that. I mean, these are in amazing shape, almost brand new. These are um, gonna bring upwards of 49 bucks um, for them and they'll sell quick. Great shape. Another pair, this is not Birkenstock's brand, but they're still really popular. They're, they've got that um, leopard print. Typically, if it's just leather or something, I'll leave them if they're not name brand like Birkenstock's brand. Um, people put that these are Birkenstock shoes, but they are not Birkenstock's brand. So they're not worth as much, but for 90 cents, I'll pick them up. Then we've got the all famous Uggs. We've got some Ugg boots here. Um, they are in amazing shape. I mean, when you source shoes, you want to source shoes that you, um, that are not going to take a lot of cleaning because it's a lot of time for just a little bit of um, squeeze for it. You're not going to make a ton of money. Now, if you have really, really expensive shoes in good shape, um, like overall, like the bones of the shoe are good, there's no rips, tears, and they're just a little bit dirty, then it's worth cleaning up. But for the majority, I don't like to pick up dirty shoes um, just because I don't want to spend the time cleaning them. Time is an extremely valuable thing, so you've got to make sure that you pick up clean shoes like these Ugg boots. And then you've got Olakai, which is, this brand isn't as known as Nike, Adidas and stuff, but they bring great money. You see that fish hook right there. If you see that, that means money. Um, 90 cents, I mean, they're in great shape. No rips, tears, funky smell, they're all looking good. So these shoes, I mean, are gonna bring a good amount of money, especially for 90 cents. You can almost make a profit off any pair of shoes at 90 cents. So, um, but then I've got the all famous Crocs, baby. These sell good. You can see that they're a little bit dirty on the bottom, but being Crocs, they are extremely easy to clean. So, I mean, you just hose them off and they're ready to go. Um, and you can see that I put a blanket down here on our couch because I don't want it to get all nasty because these shoes are, these are like how I bought them. So um, the bottoms are dirty. I'll clean those up and get them ready. But I don't be, be sure to get shoes that are not super dirty. But if they're like that, Crocs, easy to clean. So you want to take the time to do that. And Crocs is a brand that sells quick, especially this style, the old school um, clog style Crocs. Then we've got another pair of Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks brand. These are a little bit more worn, um, but they are still in great shape and will still bring a premium dollar. Then we've got some Tom's sandals. 
90 cents. These are super easy to sell and they're super easy to ship. So they're extremely light. So they go first class. So it's cheap shipping and these are in great shape. You can see the bottoms just in amazing shape. Then we've got the new upcoming Hey Dudes. Got a pair of Hey Dude shoes um, in good shape. A little, I mean, they're worn, but they will um, clean up real easy and sell really quick. People love Hey Dudes. So these are a brand that I'm, I took a little bit of a flyer on, but um, I've heard that they're good. I don't have a lot of... Um, a lot of history with them in sales but these are earth shoes and they look like this the reason I picked these up is because you can tell the quality of a shoe by how it feels and these have really good quality shoes and earth brand is a I mean it's a popular brand um, I just don't know a ton about it but for 90 cents I'll pick them up all day then we've got some Sanook sandals flip-flops these have been selling really good because of the time of the year and you can see great shape i mean look at the bottoms not like very minimal wear they look good they're in great shape um you want to make sure that here all of this is really in really good shape because the last thing you want to do is sell somebody some shoes um, and them spend their hard-earned money and get the shoes and then they are in bad shape um, one, that's going to be horrible for your business, and two, that's going to be horrible for your customer, and we work hard for the money we get, so we want to honor that and sell people good shoes. Then we've got back to the Crocs, man. I love Crocs because they literally, like for me, they sell overnight. They don't have a huge ticket price, I mean, but spend 90 cents on these, I'll get them listed and sell them within 48 hours for... 15 to 19 bucks. I mean, that's quick, easy profit. 90 cents into 19 bucks over two days. That's easy money. And then we got the Dansko clogs. These are in great shape. And when you get these, you want to look for unique colors. And I don't know if you can tell, so you can see that it's got kind of a, a metallic look to it. Um, these do have a little bit of wear here, you can see. But overall, they're in great shape. Great shape. They've got the insoles, so you can look at the bottoms. I mean, these were probably worn in a hospital, and that's it. So, great shoe to be looking out for, but you want to make sure that they are unique in, like, design, colors, and all of that. But 90 cents, again, 90 cents. I mean, you can turn these into 30 bucks. 90 cents into 30 bucks, easy. Next, we've got our Waterproof Kings. Um, Keen is a very, another very popular brand that I'm always looking for. They can turn a quick profit really easy, especially this time of the year with these type of waterproof sandals. People are going to the river, they're going to the lake, and they need some shoes that are going to protect their feet. Um, and Keen is a trusted brand, so people will spend the money to get the Keens. Again, 90 cents, you can sell these cheap, fast, and still make a good profit. All right, another pair of Birkenstocks. These are the potato shoe look is what I used to call them. Um, they are leather and they've got a little bit of wear, a um, little bit of staining. The staining will come out, but if you look at the bottoms, I mean, they're overall, you can see a little bit of roughed up there, which will eat into the price a little bit. But for Birkenstocks, people will pay. Um, but also you want to make sure that the the bones of the shoe are good, so no peeling sole or anything like that. Um, but these will still bring a good profit. Another pair of Crocs. These are a little bit dirty, but again, this is how I got them. So um, they'll be cleaned up a little bit, but they've got the fuzzy inside. Kids Crocs, they sell extremely well. Another pair of Crocs. We've got, um, these are the flip-flop style. I literally just sent some of these out like two days ago. I sold them for 19 bucks. Um, and I've got another pair that somebody's interested in, but 19 bucks. So 90 cents into 19 bucks, great deal. They're easy to ship, cheap to ship. They go first class, so they're perfect. So this next pair, 
Um, I didn't know anything about them, but again, I can feel the shoe and know, hey, this is a good quality shoe. And I picked these up and then the next day I had a meeting at work and I was talking to somebody about Birkenstocks. And um, they said, hey, have you ever heard of um, Mephesto? And I was like, man, I haven't heard of that. And I said, what does it look like? Like, what does the design look like? And they told me, I was like, wait, I picked up a pair of those. And these cost as much or more than Birkenstocks, Mephesto. So I could just feel that they were good quality. So I picked them up just thinking, I need to look these up. I don't know what they are. But for again, 90 cents. When you get your buy costs down, it's less of a risk. So if it's bad and you have to throw them away or you can't sell them and you want to donate them or whatever, um, you only have 90 cents into each pair. But this was a major win. These are literally in like new condition. I don't know if anybody ever wore these. You can see the bottoms. They're in great shape. They got a little flower here, Mephesto. So that's another brand to be looking out for. This is my first pair, so we'll see how they sell. Here we go with another pair of Sanooks. These are a little bit dirty. Um, a really cool pattern. The bones to them are good. They've got kind of that lining in there, that fuzzy, fuzzy lining. Um, that'll need to be cleaned and prepared. Um, but Sanook sells really quick, so it's one of those things I'll clean it really quick and get it sold really quick. Another pair of Sanooks. Um, same deal. Easy to clean, easy to sell. They sell really, really quick. Sanook flip flops, another pair. See, I sold, um, I've sold two pairs of these that were different colors, but same style and everything. Um, the other day, they sold for 19 bucks. So you're seeing this, I mean, 90 cents into 19 bucks. It doesn't seem like a lot, but when you get 51 pairs for 90 cents a piece, your profit margins might not be huge on some of these shoes. Um, on the Birkenstocks, they're going to be big, but the Sanooks, these are the bread and butter. These are the things that that give you that those consistent sales because it's important to have inventory. The bigger your inventory, the more you're going to make consistent sales. So getting these nineteen dollar pair, these nineteen dollar sales, are important to your business. Pair of Nike Nike flip flops, women Nike flip flops. Great shape, so worth picking up for 90 cents. Like I said, pretty much any pair of shoes for 90 cents that has good bones is good to go. Here we go. These might take a bit. These might sell a little bit later, but honestly, boots will sell all year round, even though it's summer and it's hot. Timberlands. Got a pair of these Timberland boots. Um, they're in great shape. Still got a lot of life left in them. Um, have to pick these rocks out and stuff and get them ready. Um, there's a little bit of dirt there you can see on the Timberland symbol. But overall, a great pair of shoes. They're going to sell great. They're going to sell quick um, for a good price. I mean, again, I'm saying it, saying it, saying it. 90 cents per pair. When your buy cost is low, you can take offers for cheaper and still have large profit margins. Okay, we got some more Birkenstocks brand. These do so good. If you find these for a good price, you need to pick them up. Look at these. Like, I mean, these are almost brand new. I mean, there's a little bit, you can see where it's a wear on there, but sometimes you'll see the dark where their toes are, like really dark and really shiny. Birkenstocks will still sell with that, but these are like almost brand new. I mean, they're, they're in great shape. You can see again the bottom. Another pair of Birkenstocks. See, these are a little bit more worn. Um, you can see like the dark toe line, but overall, great pair of shoes. See the bottoms? I mean, great, great pair of shoes. An easy $49 right here. Fit 90 cents into $49. Another pair of Birkenstocks. These got, they have the, these are leather with the, heel strap and then the double strap up here. These are a little bit more worn, but they will still 
bring a premium price. I've got a few more pairs of boots back here that I'm going to show you, but it's important to keep your buy costs down so that you have the profit margins you need. So buying a pair of Birkenstocks for $30, if you see them, that's not a good thing to do because then you're only going to be able to sell them for say $49 after fees, shipping, um, all of that, you're not going to have much profit margin. So it's important to have a low buy cost and pass on good pairs of shoes if they're too expensive and the profits aren't there. You have to look these shoes up before you buy them. All right. So then we've got a pair of these Justin boots, women's boots. These are in great shape, a little bit of wear, um, but overall, these shoes are in amazing shape. 90 cents right here. These are a little bit more worn, um, but they're still in good shape. We've got these Ariat boots, women's cow cowgirl boots with the square toe. You can see the bottoms. I mean, these are in great shape. Um, and low buy cost, you can sell them for lower than your competition and still make that profit if you want to sell them quick. And in the beginning, that's the key. When you don't have a lot of money to spare to use, you need to sell quick. So you get those profit mar I mean, the profit margins might go down, but if your buy cost is low, you can adjust that so that you can make the quick sales, quick consistent sales until you have enough money built up that you're able to buy more inventory and you're able to sit on them for longer. The last pair right here, I imagine the same owner. These are Justin boots as well. Same style. Um, these are that slick leather. Um, so another pair, great bones. They're in good shape and um, just good to go. So, so those are all the shoes I'm going to show you. I still have a big bag of shoes that I got from this haul. So you're wondering, how did you get these shoes for 90 cents per pair? Well, I'm going to tell you, it took me a long time. I went from paying, I mean, my average buy cost was about seven bucks before I figured this out. And I've had a few hauls before this where I got it down to about $2. Then I got it down to 90 cents. So how do I do this? I went into the thrift shops and I bought shoes. Um, I was in the thrift shop all the time. Um, on my lunch break, after work, I would make rounds to the thrift shops that are by my work. And sometimes in the morning before I'd go into work, I would stop in and see what they got. And I was just consistently in there. And when you're consistently in there, you find more sales. And when they run sales, you're able to get shoes for cheaper. You're able to get anything you want for cheaper when they're running sales. But one of the most important things I did is I met people. I met people who were doing what I was doing and then I learned from them. And now those relationships have went into, I've got four guys that I buy from that are able to get bulk amounts of shoes. They're able to get semis of shoes and they are able to, I'm able to go and pick out the shoes that I want. I'm able to hand pick shoes like these Birkenstocks, these Justin's boots, these Ariat boots and all of this and able to get them for extremely cheap because they're getting them for pennies. So they're making a big profit whenever I buy them for 90 cents, $2. But the way you get your buy costs down from this is, one, you got to find the people who are doing it. How do you find the people that are doing it? You go the places where people who are doing what you want to do are doing it. You got to get in the thrift shop. You got to meet people. When you see people looking stuff up, talk to them. Be friendly. Don't see them as competition because there's plenty of stuff out there. I'm sharing with you how I do it because I'm not worried because people are always getting rid of stuff and there's plenty of stuff in the thrift shops. There's plenty of stuff getting thrown in the landfill that are still good to use. So meet people, be in the thrift shops, start where you are. Don't go into debt to do this business. Start with where you're at. I started giving plasma and took that plasma money and started buying stuff and now I am buying bulk shoes, I'm shipping out shoes every, almost every day I'm sending out shoes. I've got some lined up in my um, little shoe closet in here that are packed up and ready to go. Dropped some off this morning 
drop some off the day before, and I've been making consistently over $100 a day profit doing this. So it's possible to make good money doing it, but that's how you do it. Get in the places where the people that are doing what you want to do are doing it. Be friendly and know the days of sales. That's how you do it. That's how you get this. Build relationships because relationships are the most important thing when it comes to business. Remember, we're not competition. We're in this together and there's plenty of, plenty of stuff to go around. I love you guys. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and um, you want to keep following because I'm about to be doing, um, I'm opening up a course. I'm going to be teaching how to do this, how to meet distributors and do it without um, learning from what I did and finding out how to do it the easy way and skipping all the mistakes that I made. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.